Hey my babes, what's up? Welcome back to a new vlog. Welcome back to a new video. I'm so excited for today's vlog, but before we get into it, I wanted to start off with doing a bit of a jewelry unboxing. I dressed accordingly to make sure my hair is not in the way at all. We have like a clear visual as we are trying it on. I picked up some new pieces from PD Paola. They are one of my favorite jewelry brands. I did a collaboration with them around this time last year. I got myself a handful of their pieces and they have been my go-to staple pieces You guys see me wear them all of the time Actually, what would be really fun is at the end of like this unboxing after we're done I can show you like a couple like a standout of like my favorite pieces that you guys may have seen me wear all of the time That might be really fun But starting out with these pieces first and before we dive into it I wanted to thank PD Paola for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog It is such an honor to be partnering with them again because like I said, they are one of my favorite favorite jewelry brands. They legit offer everything. They have bracelets, rings, earrings, necklaces. They have fine jewelry too. All of the pieces that they offer are timeless classic pieces, but also follow the trends like a little closely too. Oh, they are just so, so, so good. They were also kind enough to give you guys, my favorite people ever, a discount code. I'll make sure I'm putting it on the screen, but also down in the description. So make sure you save yourself some money. Okay, diving on on into it let's start to open these bad boys up I'm not gonna lie I already opened them <laughs> and I already took a sneak peek each piece comes in like these cute little pouches and I like to reuse these pouches too when I travel for their earring ones which I'll show in a second they have like a divider to keep your earrings on like both sides so they don't like bang together which is really really nice so this is the first piece that I wanted to share with you guys here it is up close but of course I will put it on here in a second this is their zodiac necklace and of course I went ahead and got the Gemini one. Gemini is my zodiac sign. My birthday is next month. I was debating getting Juan's but I went ahead and got mine and you guys do you see the detail on this? Has these stones going all the way around and it's like a really good heavy quality piece too. I also like that this piece in particular has like different lengths. So it has three different hooks for different lengths depending on where you want it to like hit. So if you want it like longer or if you want it like more up high, right? Let me go ahead and put this on. I think I'm gonna go like the shortest one. So here you go, this is what it looks like on. So very like simple dainty chain with a little bit of a charm, right? Their Zodiac collection is just like one of their best sellers and I can see why. Such a pretty piece even by itself but of course would look amazing with it being layered with like a snake chain, which I also have in my collection. So maybe I'll pull it out in a second, but I also got another necklace that's a little bit chunky. So let's whip that out, unbox that and pair that with this. So this is their beat chain necklace comes in a pouch like this. I was obsessed from the moment that I saw this necklace. I really love like the thick chain, but also that it was primarily silver. I really wanted to implement more silver into like my jewelry. I have tons of gold, but I like that this was like a mix. So you can definitely wear it with gold too. Here it is a little bit closer up and it just like unhooks right here. You guys, I'm obsessed. This is what it looks like on, it just adds a level of class. I feel like I look expensive no so we have the chunky chain we have the big clasp but then also like this part that hangs down that kind of like hangs down and into your cleavage super freaking flattering i love that you can wear this for special occasions but also just like more casually too imagine this being like a strapless long dress honestly like this your hair pulled up out of the way you have it on maybe even layered if you really want to but also more casually as well like with a sweater like a crew neck sweater or a t-shirt on and having this layered and going over top of it oof perfection and then for the last piece i ended up getting a pair of earrings these are the sugar earrings and they come in two sizes and this one is the large they're kind of like teardrop earrings the style is so in right now but i didn't want anything like too big and too chunky i still wanted it to be like timeless and classy i also didn't want them to be too heavy either and these are very like lightweight so here's what they look like on they do hang 
just a smidge, right? They are in a gold-plated silver and it's 18 karat golds. It has a butterfly closure on the back that just goes like on the stud. I honestly cannot say enough how much I love that these are lightweight. There's no worse feeling than having like super heavy earrings. By at the end of the day or the end of the event, like your ears just hurt because of how heavy they are. So yeah, these are perfect and I love that it still gives enough room that if you wanted to put something in your second hole, like you absolutely could too, you know? So that is all of the new pieces that I wanted to share with you guys. I love these all so very much. They are the perfect addition into my jewelry collection. Now to spice things up a little bit, let me share you a couple of my other favorite pieces from Petey Paula. I got these a year ago and I wear them constantly constantly and the quality is just fantastic everything has held up beautifully i cannot recommend this brand enough so one of my favorite rings that you guys always see me wear is this one it has like these small dainty little stones that go all the way around it's like a curved ring it's freaking gorgeous i also wear this ring constantly and all of the time a little bit of a zigzag with some stones in it to kind of match that ring that i just showed you i also have like these earrings that kind of go with it so this is what it looks like on if you wanted to see it's like that perfect medium size hoop it's not too large and again it's like super super lightweight too it's a nice little touch and i have two other favorite necklaces that i wear all the time this one that is an 18 karat gold plated chain that is kind of like that perfect middle ground chain like it's not super chunky like this but it's not as like thin and delicate looking as this one so it's really nice to like layer with this one also has a few different points that you can clasp it so it can be like different lengths too let me just like roughly put that here so you can see and then i also have like a snake like necklace that is super shiny oh it's like one of those perfect layering ones too just like throwing them around so that you can see what they all kind of look like i have a mirror over here you can go that one like a little bit thinner those are some of my favorite pieces i'll also have all of these linked down below for you guys too they make really great gift ideas too i know mother's day is coming up next month easter just passed that would have been a good occasion too but yeah i just i cannot recommend this jewelry enough i love it so very much i hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing and sharing a couple of my favorite pieces but let's go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back take my time just enjoy the ride a new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so new, so where I can find myself My babes, my babes, my babes! Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I am in such a good mood. I don't know what it is about today, but I'm feeling good. And we're gonna go with it. <laughs> I am thirsty. I just got home from grabbing lunch. I grabbed good old Chipotle. But I am thirsty. Let's fill this up. And then we'll have lunch. To first. Okay, we got some stuff. Let's do this. I'm gonna open this first and then afterwards wash my hands. But I went up and picked up some um, Amazon packages. And I know what this is. Today, tomorrow, soon. <laughs> We're going to be doing these nails together. They are so, so, so grown out. I don't even want to show them right now because they're so gross. Look, it doesn't even want to focus on them. You guys, do you see how grown out these are? The last time I got my nails done was a month and a half ago. Like, it's been a really long time, um, but there's a couple additional things that I needed to get. We can go through this when we get to doing my nails, but this was the last couple of things I needed to do my nails the top coat the base coat and then i also got one gel polish although again we'll get into it i don't know if i'm gonna put like a polish on i might just be going for like the clear coat thing we washed hands now we're ready to eat i honestly thought that i was gonna be just so freaking tired today and just like kind of stressed and struggling to get through the day but i feel like i'm just crushing it guys 
No, um, so I woke up super early this morning before 7 a.m. because I needed to film a haul video like the sit down part of the haul video and there was no other time this week that just worked i definitely never wake up early to film like any videos unless it's just vlogging but that's just because you know it's my day-to-day -day life right but like dedicated sit down video of its own no not nah, girl i don't get up early for that i just try to fit it in throughout like the day or i get to it at night you know but yeah i'm like packed this whole week and so i woke up early got fully ready full makeup hair all that good stuff, sat down, filmed, and then I was done before the workday even started. So like I was done by like 8, 45, 9, and then I hopped on over to doing Amazon work, and then I had an Airbnb cleaning appointment today, so I had to like run up and drop off the clean linens, take the, um, the dirty linens sort of thing. That appointment was at 11, but I got there at 12, 15, so they were, I would say like 80% done. So then I stayed a little bit to help oversee what they were doing and making sure that they were doing it correctly giving them like little tips and then i grabbed my lunch and came back so here we are you guys what a freaking day i am so hungry i'm so excited for this chipotle um is this my order you guys this is not my order <laughs> No! All this good stuff that I was just saying and how amazing of a day I was having. Of course I'm gonna go ahead and jinx myself. What the heck? Okay, well we'll eat it anyways, but this is not my order. Um, I don't know what this is that's on it. It's like some green stuff, but it definitely has corn on it, which I never order. It does not have any pico de gallo, um, but it still has rice, pinto beans, sour cream cheese, and guacamole. So we'll go with it. Maybe I will learn to like something new today nothing is gonna get me down today i'm gonna eat my words just watch okay let's go enjoy this just a little something before i need to go back to work right before i picked up the camera i did pop up up there wow tongue twister and looked at emails and things going on so i'm good for now um let's watch a little bit of summer house episode nine holy cow kyle is 40 <laughs> let's try this new version of my Chipotle order. I mean, it's fine. I just really want my pico de gallo. That was like my favorite part. Who orders without pico de gallo? Whose order did I get? Who got my order? They're gonna like my order. Okay, I'm not mad about it. So I wasn't planning on picking up the camera right now at all. Well, because I'm in such a good mood, I was like, why not? Let's just go ahead and start the vlog now. So this is going to be definitely a couple of days vlog, a couple of days in my life. And I feel like this is going to be so focused around self-care because I have so many appointments upcoming for like self-care. So first of all, I'm just going to include this as an appointment, even though it isn't one. But we're going to tackle doing my nails together at home gel manicure. Should be a lot of fun. I hope. And then tomorrow I have a haircut appointment and we are chopping this hair. And then the next day after that, <clears throat> we have my Botox and lip filler appointments, which I'm really excited for that too. I feel like I only truly get my lips done once a year and Botox, I try to do like two times a year. I'm trying to remember the last time that I had an appointment, but of course it was vlog, so maybe look back like six months ago if you want to see like the last time that I went. And I'm sure I'll mention this again like once we're actually on the day. But if you're new here, not my first rodeo. I've been getting my lips done, I want to say for almost 10 years now. And you guys, I go for a completely natural look. I don't overdo it at all. It will look crazy, absolutely look crazy when I get it done because my lips do swell up a lot but then it always goes down to being like a little bit bigger than this it's something i like to do it's a personal choice you do you boo you know like do what makes you happy and i am always honest with you guys about whatever i do no point in hiding anything it doesn't even make sense you're gonna see but yeah as always i'll take you along for that and everything else but should be a fun couple of days the person that i'm going to for my botox and my lip filler she's new i don't know what happened to my last girl so when i'm there i'm gonna have to ask but she did an amazing job with my lips and stuff so i'm a little bit nervous this round but we should be good and because it's like a new person i'm most likely not gonna film like in the room sorry 
I am one shy person, okay? I get super embarrassed and shy easily. Yeah, anyway. Let's enjoy our lunch. It's after six, I'm done working. I'm getting set up to start on my nails. What's up, babe? What are you preparing? I'm preparing a little lemon juice. Can I tell a glass of water with me? Do you want some too? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Claude wants some too. Scoot you back a little bit. Okay, so I have been loving having some lemon water every single day. I heard. I need to look, actually look this up though, but I heard that lemon water is great for like your kidney health. There's a lot of other benefits for lemon water too, but that's one of them that like stands out for me. So for I would say for like the last week, I've been trying to have lemon water every single day and it's just like so refreshing and delicious too. I have like a glass this size and I only pour in half of a lemon. When I have my little lemon saver, you guys know to watch like a couple of vlogs back. And then I put some Himalayan pink sea salt into mine. I think from what I remember it helps with like absorption. It tastes pretty good too. And there we have it. Got some glass straws. Let's go give this to Juan. So refreshing. And I guess we're just gonna go on full on snack here. I'm gonna grab a couple of these coconut bites that we got from Costco. I better go surprise money. There's still some left. So I was getting set up to do my nails down here and I have everything out. Got my little drink and snack over here, but we have the UV lamp right here. I just need to plug it in. I'm sitting right here because there's a plug right here, which is handy. Some paper towels for this to protect my quartz countertops, but I got like these little fingernail things to help with like removing the nail polish instead of using like aluminum foil, you know? So this and this, drench this stuff with the acetone and then somehow figure out a way to put it <laughs> my nails in it um i also have like cuticle softener remover nail filers a little brush the cuticle pusher and then i have a nail color it's like a creamy white kind of similar to what i have i got all of this off of amazon i don't think i'm going to use this though i think i really just want to do like a clear polish and keep it like really clean and simple so i'm just gonna go in with a top coat and a base coat and then i also have some like cuticle oil as well how long do you think this is gonna take me babe i don't know what's the idea i don't know it's just never quick to do your own nails i'm sure you're wondering why am i even doing all of this it's a valid question one i just kind of want to take a break from getting my nails done done it for quite some time and so that's why i kind of wanted to go in with just like a base coat and a clear coat because i feel like it's not going to require too much maintenance and upkeep because if it grows out then it's just clear you know so it's not like too big of a deal um but also it's just getting really expensive let's do this i'm ready oh first i need a buff like rough up the top of this the seal of it so that the acetone can get to work breaking down the cured paint Great, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna apply cuticle oil to the skin surrounding the nail to help with dehydration while the acetone sits on to make sure that my skin is protected and it's not gonna like overly dry out. Great, and then soaking them off, leave on for 10 minutes. Great, we're gonna do that. And then wash the gel flake off. Hopefully it'll literally flake off, but if not, I'll use my little, one of these maybe, like a cuticle pusher or this other tool that came in the kit to remove it. Hopefully it'll come off easy. If not, I might need to soak it a little bit longer. And then we are going to use a soft buffer. Okay, let's just get started. And then, wait, let me read a little bit longer actually <laughs> because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to use my hands. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go into buff. 
and then probably use the cuticle remover, clean up my cuticles. Oh, I need to go grab like cuticle scissors from upstairs. I don't have that right here. Why is my hand like this? <laughs> mm, I should go grab like my iPad so that I can watch something while doing this. Duh, am I just gonna sit here in silence? Okay, that's pretty much it. Let's get to it. We're gonna watch Julia and Hunter Havens. They are some of my favorites. But they uploaded a new video for their house hunts. What they're doing with their house, if you follow them, is like insane to me. It's like they're building a house, but living in a temporary house, but then they decided to renovate their temporary house, so then they need to find another house. But then they are also pregnant, about to give birth in like a month. God, mad respect. That's a lot of craziness. So I'm kind of focusing on doing one hand at a time. And you guys would have just seen that I completed the first hand. Let's see if you guys can see. So here you go. Without any nail polish at all. Cleaned up the cuticles and cut and polished and all that sort of stuff. So it's looking pretty good. I'm honestly debating just like leaving it for a day and like coming back tomorrow and then putting like something on it just to like let it breathe for a moment, you know? Yeah, nice. Wait, you don't want to go to... You don't want to force it. I cannot do the left-handed. We have reinforcements. <laughs> Juan stepped in to help and then we also ordered some food. He was really wanting ramen, but we also didn't want to go get it. So we ordered DoorDash. <laughs> oh, this one's good. Okay, stop. Okay, here's still. This corner. Oh, this one's looking good. I think this one's done. Do you want to watch something tonight? What do you want to watch? Beef. What is beef about? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Here. Beef is about Stop. someone that has beef. beef. Like beef? Like I have beef with you? Like I'm... Yes. I think so. Or is it about food? No. Okay. Maybe it's about food. I have no idea. Here, do a little bit more <laughs> on the tip. Let's see about this one now, I guess. <laughs> what? what? We don't have breaks. <laughs> We did it like literally 30 seconds ago. I'm ready. Okay, you have to go a little bit at the tip. Okay. Thanks, babe. Yeah. Babe, I feel like my left hand is like useless. <laughs> like, do you see how I file? Like when I file my left hand, I move the filer. When I file my right hand, I move my hand, not the filer. <laughs> because I just can't. It's useless. Babe, I kind of liked waking up early today. You couldn't what? I said I kind of liked waking up early today. Waking up early is great every day. I think I'm going to start doing it. <laughs> what? Really? What? Well, I mean, tomorrow we do anyways, because we have someone coming over to clean. Hey, babes, good afternoon. It's the next day. I look like a bum today. <laughs> this morning, we had our house professionally cleaned. They were here starting at 8.30, and they had like a team of like five people, so they got done relatively quickly. Um, cause in the past when we've hired cleaners, they were here for like six hours cause it was like a team of two and the house is fairly large. So it took them so long, but yeah, team of five people came to clean the house today and it feels so good to have the house so clean. So I'm not sure if it looks like it. I mean, I just brought this box back out cause I need to rub up my nails, but like the kitchen is so clean. They deep cleaned the microwave and like the stove, the oven, the vent on top too. Like you guys, 
so freaking clean even in the pantry and then of course like the dining area and all of like the blinds the windows they completely like vacuum the couch you guys i'm so freaking happy dusted the stairwell and of course like over here too of course upstairs is completely cleaned out oh my god you guys i'm so happy like it has brought me so much more stress like thinking about how messy my house was because you know my mentality with it like a dirty house i feel like i have like a cluttered mind but like a clear house i have a clear mind and this just like makes me feel so happy that it is cleaned up when you work from home Juan's in the middle of the meeting but when you work from home you make a mess throughout the day then you're also working throughout the day and it just like piles on versus like if you go into the office you obviously leave your house you're not like causing your house to get messier you know so it's like a challenge with it and you guys know my time has been very stretched thin so it's nice to be able to have cleaners come help me out with getting things like in a better state um i think we're gonna do it like on a more regular basis like have them come once a month i'm so looking forward to that this is such like a random time but i'm gonna wrap up on doing my nails right now it's my lunch time and i've been working since essentially 8 a.m and it's one o'clock so i think i deserve my first break you know i'm also hoping that this isn't going to take too much time because the majority of the work you guys saw we did yesterday so really it's just a matter of putting like a clear coat on and that's it and like curing it with the lamp Okay, just finished and I put some like cuticle oil around it as well. And I mean, am I a professional or what? No, I'm just kidding. No, but I think it looks good. I'm excited for just like the simple clear coats. And then for lunch, I made some pasta salad the day before yesterday. So we're gonna have some. Let's put some. And a bowl. And I'm going to top it off with a little bit of Italian dressing just to like freshen it up a little bit from sitting in the refrigerator, you know. If you guys are new, this is like my go-to favorite um, pasta salad recipe. Kind of like what it looks like, but it has bell peppers, cheese, salami, onions, what else, tomatoes. And of course, like the pasta too. So, love this. Easy, easy lunch. Just literally like it. Good morning, babes. Today is the day of my haircut appointment. I've been sitting in the car for 20 minutes uploading <laughs> to Instagram, to TikTok, and then also for the first time, YouTube, like YouTube shorts. Tell me if you guys are liking that because I know a lot of you guys don't have TikTok and don't have Instagram as well and i don't want you guys to miss out on the content but i also don't necessarily want to post the same thing across all three platforms but i feel like i kind of need to do that because not everyone has all three platforms you know what i mean so anyways i am doing that wrapping up i'm just waiting there we go for it to post so that's done but we have three minutes and i need to be inside to get my hair cut i just realized my hair is back so you can't really see like what the before is but i guess i'll take it down so that you can see it's obviously very dirty a little bit of a mess but okay so it's kind of grown a bit and it's down to like what middle of my boobs a little bit longer than that but i am looking i think to like chop a good chunk off who am i and then still have like a little bit of the framing and stuff so we'll see what i ultimately end up doing but that's that's what I'm going with. I want to hear her input, my hairstylist, see what she thinks. But I don't know, kind of like just a totally refreshed haircut, especially for spring with the summer, to have like a little bit shorter of a hair. But I'm also just ready for like a new vibe. 
a new thing. And also with cutting that much off, I think officially all of my old blondes will be gone and I'll just have like my natural hair color officially. That is wild. It's taken what, three years to grow out? It's insane. Okay, let's go inside. I have two minutes and I like to be early to things. <laughs> just made it home, you guys. Look how short it is. I cannot believe this. Here we have it. Totally short and refreshed. What do you guys think? I need to look in the mirror. I need to brush it though. Let's grab my brush. All right, brushed it and I grabbed my water. While I was upstairs. It's always like a little staticky for some reason after I get my hair cut, but love you guys. This feels strange but like great at the same time you see that there's like tons of like layering in it and i got like this one chopped up i mean fresh cut for the spring and the summer no i haven't had my hair this short in so freaking long but it's cute i like it i like it i like it okay i'm starving let's go eat oh how was your nap We are gonna have pasta salad again for lunch. Mm -hmm. Work ping. Work. So I know I have been gone to go get my hair cut, but I'm gonna watch a little something while we eat this. And what I've been dying to watch is the Howie Mandel Tom Sandoval interview. I've been hearing so much about it and I finally just need to watch it. Gotta stay updated. On my reality TV drama. <laughs> Juan wants a picture of the hair. Okay, let's take a selfie. Does it look good? Does it look good? <laughs> Great, we have the fire on. Let's go to YouTube. I love getting a blowout, but my hair goes flat so fast like that make it better no i've seen jacks i've seen Kristen come on every single podcast and give their opinion is there anything else now that you're here and you're talking that you want to clear up that was i just got done filming the beginning of this video like the unboxing of the new jewelry i'm wearing one of the pieces still right now but man what a world of difference it makes once you have like makeup on and stuff and like a semi cute outfit. I actually really like this outfit. It's just like this tube top sort of a situation and then my jeans, right? But you guys, I'm vibing with this. I didn't style it. I had it up in like a hair clip so you can see like the lines from it. But like, I don't know. Just like being all messy with it. I'm here for it. I'm loving it. It's so surreal seeing my hair this short when I was trying to put it up in a claw clip it like wouldn't go up in a claw clip and I was kind of panicking for a moment but it's okay <laughs> I don't remember the last time I couldn't put my hair in a clip you know so I'm starting to edit this vlog that you're watching right now because it's a lot of footage I feel like I have so far and I just figure might as well get a head start on it I am done working for the day I need a change out of what I'm wearing but I'm kind of just like been sitting right here in my office chair I'm just hanging out enjoying the sun I mean the sun was right here and now it's behind a cloud but it was like so nice just having like the sun soak up into my face Juan is not here again today he went into the office today I feel like he's just getting a head start on May I don't know if I've ever like officially said it in like a vlog but Amazon has this RTO return to office order policy that they put out like what over a month ago I honestly didn't think like it was going to happen I thought that there would have been like enough pushback from all Amazonians that we wouldn't have to go back into the office but I haven't heard anything and we're like a couple weeks away from May so I am um, sure enough we need to go back to the office but it's only for three days but i haven't heard any guidance even from my team of like which three days it is and also they redid our whole building like the building i'm in to be like flexible seating so i don't even have an assigned spot anymore and i'm like if you want people to come into the office like you need to make sure people can bring like 
their own stuff and not have to like carry it home every day and i know that they have like lockers and stuff but i don't know it's just like a less personalized approach and i'm not i'm not for it and obviously i'm nervous like super anxious about having to commute into the office like wasting two hours a day commuting into the office dealing with traffic and then just losing time time is like of the essence it's like i have to really structure my day to maximize it the most and like the fact that i'm gonna be losing a couple of hours a day going into the office but also losing like the context switching ability that I have at home I'm like super super nervous I'm not sure like the impact it's gonna have yet to me making content so my guys I'm so nervous <laughs> we will know soon enough soon enough so I'm sure like they want us all to be in the office on the same three days otherwise and like every this whole thing like defeats the purpose like they want us to go into the office so that we can be together as a team collaborate as a team like all that sort of stuff but if we're not even in the office on the same days what's the point I can just do everything I'm doing at home you know I don't know sorry that's just like me ranting about it I'm obviously frustrated about like the whole thing I mean we've been doing this for three years why ruin a good thing <sighs> So I'm on the side of like, I'm not for it, but I know lots of people are excited about it. People, some people can't like, how do I put this? Some people aren't good at like managing their time, especially at home, like they can get distracted really easy or they just are a very social person or thrive in like an office environment. Everybody's different, right? But for like me, I've been thriving with working at home, ripping it away from me, not even giving me a choice. That's like the other hardest thing about this is I feel like throughout all of the pandemic and working from home, Amazon has like kept us updated every step of the way, also giving us a choice. And then this, it's like, they're not even giving us a choice they're just like forcing us to go back to the office i don't know you guys I, I can sit here and complain it's like a first world problem america sort of problem if you want to see it that way like i get it like i work for amazon they can tell me what to do and i just have to deal with it and it is what it is but i of course view it as like no we've been living this way for three years like let's evolve with like the times too i don't know like juan and i have very like different viewpoints on it <laughs> Ugh. So freaking challenging. Okay, I'm done ranting about that. I needed to get it off my chest, but obviously fill you in at the same time. <laughs> Back in my comfies. My hands are full right now. Carrying down some dishes. Mm, I don't know where to set you. Um, but I do want to get on top of a book. A little snack. I'm gonna grab a couple of protein balls. My favorite yummies. Two, four, six, eight. It's seven. <laughs> Oliver, who is that? I'll check on Oliver. He's been on medicine and this is very strange that he's doing this right now because he hasn't been doing it at all. So the medicine has been working so well. But I guess it's bound to still happen like a little bit, right? My little baby. And then, random, but I'll say it anyways. Due to him getting older, you guys, he's turning 10 in May. I never had any, but I decided to get pet insurance because with his dental surgery last year and then him like with some sort of coughing and stuff, I just like, I want to be prepared for the future and the cost that might be associated with him getting older. So I got pet insurance today. Let's go downstairs. I think I have some packages at the front door. So I'm excited about that. I'm just nervous about what they're gonna think is like a pre-existing condition, you know what I mean? Versus what's not. Yes, I still have my Christmas wreath on the front door. I need to get like a, a storage thing for it and I keep forgetting. So the packages that came, both Lululemon, you guys know what this means. I have a dedicated Lululemon haul video coming up and a quick note on that actually. Wow, let me catch my breath. What am I? <laughs> I need to do more cardio. Um, that I have a dedicated Lululemon haul video coming, which I'm really really excited about i know i just posted 
a Lululemon haul, but it was kind of like a styling Lululemon haul versus this is just like, hey, here's like all new releases. Here's what they look like on. Oh, now I remember what I was gonna say. I got my hands on the Lululemon and Mad Happy collaboration. So that will also be in that haul video. And um, holy shit, you guys, I am obsessed with it. Just in case, I don't know like what's the current in stock, stocking status of it right now, but like, don't wait. Just like go ahead, get some pieces just to like have it, you know, cause you can always return it um, if you change your mind or if it doesn't fit or anything like that but so you don't miss out on it if it goes out of stock. Like in particular, I really like the sweatshirt and the sweatpants. Like it's, it's just, it's so good. Guess who's home wearing his favorite pajamas ever. <laughs> I really need to get you like another set. Yes. To alternate between. Ooh, what are these? Juan surprised me coming home with one of our favorite pizzas. Oh, delicious. What is it called? Fugacita Regina. It's from the Boca Bakery restaurant that I always feel like I talk about. It's such amazing pizza. It's like Argentine pizza. And it looks like he also grabbed a couple of um, empanadas. What type of empanadas are those? One is jamon cheese and the other one is capres. Mmm, jamon y queso. Give me that one. No, I'm going to do you half of each? Alright. Babe, you never what? You haven't seen my hair yet. I have. Well the picture, but I meant like in real life. Wow. In it's person. way better in real life. Nice. What do you think? Incredible. Is it is it weird? How, like with my hair being so short? No. Do you think it looks good? Yeah. <laughs> Babe, I'm so excited for this. It was a nice surprise. Are we gonna watch Beef? Or what do you wanna watch? Um, yeah, we're gonna watch Beef. It looks good. Mm. Oh no. What? You forgot the pill. Babe. No, no. Is he gonna be so mad that I'm gonna take it away from him? No. <laughs> Juan fed Oliver but forgot to give him his medication. We're almost done with it, babe. There's like two pills left. But he's been, he coughed earlier today and then he coughed like an hour ago. So I don't know like what that's all about. I don't know. He has been coughing basically. But before my battery died, um, I was just telling Juan how like much of a game changer I feel like it's been waking up early. I've been waking up like 7.30 every single day this week and it's been like game changer i've been able to knock out like so much work like content creator that sort of work before my work day for amazon even starts and it's been amazing okay we're gonna go ahead and watch episode one of beef good morning babes i'm officially off to finally finally the last day of our full vlog here and our self-care to go get my botox and my lip filler too i have no makeup on because they usually wipe it all off anyways to put like the botox in so there was no point but this is my outfit for today i don't know the inspiration behind this but this is like what i was feeling i wasn't sure what jacket even went with this so i just went with a vest and then i have on this long sleeve cropped black top underneath and then my camo pants that i haven't worn since last year sorry juan's really loud in his meetings as you guys know and then i have on my new balances too but let's go i'm getting excited slash nervous sorry there's construction going on outside so it might be a little bit noisy so i think i said this at the start of the vlog for my appointment but the typical person like my normal person that i go to she's no longer at the place and i'm gonna ask why but i'm going to a new person it's not she's not new she's just new to me right so I'm hoping that she's really good. I tried to do like a little bit of research on like the people and I saw that this girl like has really good reviews. So I'm hoping, oh, cross our fingers, all is well with it. I always get like a little bit nervous before these appointments. Like you have to breathe and I always like just sweat. 
I don't know if that's just me, but I do. But I'm excited for my Botox in particular because I always end up getting like a little bit of a brow lift. As I'm getting older, my brows are starting to droop, so it's nice to get the Botox like around my eyebrows because then it like raises it a little bit, which is nice. And then for my lip filler, I typically only do half of a syringe, so a very minimal amount. I'm gonna ask her um, if she thinks that I should do, continue to do half a syringe because I feel like it kind of like disappeared really quickly last time, or if I should do a full syringe, but not necessarily get like the full amount of it, like right now, like could I save some of it for like a month or two months out or something like that? Is that like an option? I'm not really sure. So I forget, like I've had a full syringe at the very start of when I was doing this, but it's been a long time, so I don't remember. And plus it's a new place, so maybe they have like a different policy too, you know? But yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm gonna run and do a couple of errands beforehand. I have a couple of things that I wanna return. So I'm gonna do that and then leave the appointment for like the very last thing since my face is gonna look kind of like swollen and weird. I'm gonna like beeline out <laughs> so no one sees me. I had a rush back home for a meeting immediately after my appointment and then I've been sitting here working, wrapped up the meeting and then spent the last 30 minutes working and like catching up before heading into another meeting. That's a two hour meeting. But before we do that, we have four minutes. I figured I would show you like the update on the lips. We'll just sit here on the floor close to the window so that you guys can see. Okay, I'm looking at the viewfinder right now. I look a little insane. Apologies there. But you can see like they are really kind of like swollen. As I've said, like they always get pretty swollen. But she did such an amazing job. I really like her a lot. Like I like her attention to detail. I like how thorough she was. And she just spent so much time like perfecting it too, which... A girl after my own heart like I'm such a perfectionist so I love like seeing other people like that too so we'll see how this ends up looking once the swelling goes down but first impressions I'm absolutely in love and then obviously Botox it takes a couple of weeks to see it it's not instantaneous so it's kind of funny like the lips swell and then it goes away but this it's like opposite you know what I mean like seeing results of it but she definitely went in like on the sides I think I only got like 20 units which isn't a lot that's typically like what I get so yeah and then also on the lips I ended up doing the half syringe we talked about it and if I really wanted more we could but I figured let's start off with the half syringe that's what I'm used to anything more I think would have been too much so yeah that's that's what they look like. I'm excited about them. I'm excited to see what they end up looking like. While I was in the car, I realized I didn't even say like where I've been going <laughs> for like all of the appointments for the past couple of days. So for my hair, I go to Chromatique Salon. They have three salons in the area. They have an Issaquah one and two Bellevue locations. Incredible. I go to a girl named Jessica. I think she's the only Jessica. She is the elite stylist. Love her. I loved like my hair and all like the layering is like perfection. She spends so much time again like she does as well like trying to make it like perfect so I really love that and then for like my lips and my Botox also for like my laser hair removal I have an appointment coming up in a couple weeks for that I go to Skin Spirit they have a few locations throughout Washington but they also have like some in California and other states too but like I have been going to Skin Spirit for my Botox and my lip fillers laser hair removal I've been doing that for a couple of years and then also like my facials and stuff too I would say for like eight years like I really really like them so that's the down low that's where I go for all of these appointments anyways I'm gonna go ahead head to my meeting and then we'll catch up afterwards see what we're getting up to but yeah it's Friday which I'm so 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 happy about who doesn't love a Friday but kind of shitty that I'm stuck in a two-hour meeting late on a Friday let's Join my meeting. Oh, it's not right now. It's in 30 minutes. Great. That's even better because now I actually have time to go have lunch. I haven't even eaten lunch yet. So perfect, perfect, perfect. I have 30 minutes. Oh, you guys already know what I'm going to have. I'm going to have the last of my pasta salad. 
trying to find my slippers. Found them. I don't like going downstairs without my slippers because the hardwood floors, but up here it's like carpet, so I don't typically like wear it upstairs, which is kind of hilarious. Oh, I picked up a pair of jeans that I got altered. If you guys watched my YouTube short, oh my god, I did like a a Goldie try on and review. I thought it'd be fun to do it there. But one of the pair of jeans, like the first one, the low slung, low slung baggy ones, I needed to get the waist taken in. So I went and dropped it off, got the waist taken in, which I'm really excited about. So I'll have to try these on still and see what they look like. But they're like the baggy trend. They're like loose and stuff. Maybe I can wear those tomorrow. I have a um, my niece's birthday party tomorrow Oh, and the girl that was doing like the Botox and the lip filler she like commented on my skin Which makes me so freaking happy. I was like, no, you're joking That's like a lie, right because of like my melasma like acne scarring and stuff But like so freaking sweet even if it was like a fake compliment like i'll take it you know what i mean because i've been working so hard on getting my skin like back in a good spot <laughs> she's honestly the one that had like perfect skin i was like i want your skin i thought i had a meeting at 2 but it's actually at 2 30 so now i have time for lunch I think I'm gonna go back upstairs though to my office and multitask. I'm gonna eat this while um, getting a little bit more work done, getting caught up. We have some deadlines coming next week and I have to be in the office for the full week next week too. So I feel like there's a lot to do. I'm officially done with my two hour meeting, thank God. Went downstairs to pick up packages at the front door. I have more Lululemon for the Lululemon haul video to come and then I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Aritzia so I might have another Aritzia haul coming in just like really wanting to get like my spring wardrobe together you know I'm inspired by like some of the trends and it feels good I feel like I was kind of like in a slump when it comes to like fashion I want to try on these jeans really fast Let's see how these look in the waist. I intentionally left them unhemmed on the bottom. I wanted them to be really long so that I can wear them with like heels and stuff versus sneakers. I have enough jeans that I can wear with sneakers. Okay, that's nice. I mean, I guess it's still like a little bit big, but it's way better than it was. And we don't want it to be like overly tight where I can't breathe. Oh my God, you guys, I feel like it's turned into such a hot day. I'm like sweating in this long sleeve. I need to take it off. This is good though. I'm trying to see how I can show you the full pant. Guys, these are so good. My favorite white slingbacks. I ended up getting them in black. I mean, no, these are kind of perfect. Love them. All right. I just put on the tea that I had on yesterday. This hair officially needs to get out of my face. Guys, it's so short that I can't do my normal like twisty situation. Oh wait, I'm kind of doing it to put it into a claw clip. Okay, this looks kind of bad, but we'll go with it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here. We've completed all my appointments and I'm sure this video is long enough. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Enjoyed spending the last couple of days with me and going to all of my appointments. I hope you guys also enjoyed the jewelry unboxing at the very beginning of this video. I love all of those pieces. I know I said that like a million times, but I truly do. Again, there will be like a discount code and all of the links to all the pieces down below in the description. And of course, anything else that I've kind of like shown and mentioned throughout this whole video too like even outfit wise i'll make sure all of that is linked down there for you guys too but i love you guys so much and i'll see you in a couple of days in my next video bye Mwah.